Hi class, this is Christian. I want to talk about the final project. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, I do still have a few of you who are still kind of um, unsure of what to do with it. So I will walk you through this process just to create one, uh, move one thing over so you can see how that works. Okay, so the final project is really just a collection of the uh, some of the assignments that you already created in the past uh, couple of weeks. So I'm not asking you to put everything there, just a few of them. So the assignment uh, six and assignment one, if you remember, it's just re a redo of unit one assignment where you create your personal homepage. Okay, but uh, we moved that unit six because we used the HD, uh, HBS or the handlebars. So it makes that really nice. So you move that over, including the um, these pages and the drag and drop, the Ajax calls and the chat program and uh, also the REST API uh, down here. Okay, so I will show you um, maybe the one that is a little bit challenging could be the chat program here. And that's because it's using a different uh, server setup. It also uses the socket.io, so that could be a little bit confusing. So I want to show you how to do that. And the rest would be kind of pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's go to the um, IDE. And uh, so here are the assignments. So in unit six is the one that we create about our home pages and all, all those pages. And I think unit five was the chat program. So if you remember, um, it, this will looks like, I, it might be a little bit from yours. I might have changes, changed things around a little bit, but uh, we should still be the same, okay? So here's my chat program. Um, and uh, just to make sure that it does work, let's just go and make this, uh, run this first. Let's go to unit. Uh, five and inside chat service. Okay, so I'm running a port 8080. Let's go to the browser and load on localhost port 8080. Okay, so we can see that's the chat program. I put my name here and then I do my chatting here, right? And as you, you see, you notice that it, you know, it, um, it works right away. You don't have to, you know, navigate anywhere else. It's using the same route. It doesn't matter which one, I, what I put here. I can put something ABC here. I still kind of get, well, I, no, it doesn't match the route, but um, yeah, never mind that. Uh, usually it will grab that. It depends on how you set it up. Okay, so this is the chat program. You want to port this over to the home page, and uh, let's run the other app. So let's say I'm gonna use as uh, use um, unit six because this is the one that has all my, uh, my pages. I'm using the handlebars, right? And um, let me just run this as well. Let me open the second tab down here and go to unit six. Okay, and let's run unit six. That's port eight nine zero zero. I'm just gonna uh, control click this, and hopefully it fires up. Okay, so here is the um, Unit six assignment, right? It's about you and your profile and things like that. Um, so what we want to do is add all your buttons right here. So this could be about you. I can add another button here to say chat, and that would take me to this chat program over here. Okay, but I'm not gonna go to a different port number like this though. I'll be using the same port eight nine zero zero in this case, and um, just put everything here. I'm navigating to a different route, just like up here, contact right about portfolio things like that okay so let's first create a navigation and we'll, we'll port the other things over so let me close this down here so in my handlebars um, my views folder i have the partials and there's the header that hbs and this is where i put the link so let me copy this um, just press the control shift and then down no i'm mean alt shift down i think to duplicate that line Okay, so this will be called chat. Okay, this is the URL pattern I'm gonna use. And here we'll just put here chat as well. So that's my link. Okay, um, the, I make sure I do it right. I had, I think I did something bad here. We gotta close this and I have an extra one down here. Okay, so if I save it and close that one for now, so you can add the other stuff like uh, the Ajax and uh, um, so you can do that here, right? So you have your Ajax. Um, and then you have your CRUD, for example, whatever these, whatever you want to call it. And then CRUD, 
and then one more for maybe this is the uh, drag and drop so just say drag drop right okay so if it's saved let's save that go to the browser again and refresh it and there's all my links oh it's kind of bad I, I'd probably use it too much um, yeah let's fix it so back again chat I probably forgot to close something uh, yeah my ally okay this is to be too long so let's put here let's just put drag for now okay that should uh, be okay now so here we go all right so here are my links so if I go to the chat as you can see it will load the chatting program right in here okay so everything else remain intact and same thing for crud drag and drop and and, and so forth okay um, again I'm not uh, uh, worry too much about how you do this just as long as everything works on the same port number okay so I'm gonna work on the chat here so let's go over and see how this is done so we're pretty much done with that uh, header so now in the so uh, I'm using all these a different route right so I need to create one for the chat right in the landing page here about about in contact um, uh, the order doesn't matter here but just make sure it goes above this uh, star so I'll put right down here after the portfolio it's kind of match my router my uh, URL so here will be just uh, chat okay I will have a view I don't have one yet but I'm gonna have a view called chat as well oops and then the title will be um, you know chat with me yeah, I don't have anything to pass over other than that. So just, just like that, just the title itself. Okay, so that's my chat. And then now I need to go and create one HBS file for this chat. I'll do that in a minute. So let's go open the chat program up here. And if you notice in the index.js, right? So we need to create a server to connect to. Now we have it done already in our index.js. If you look up in the top, we use the uh, express and then app dot uh, listen to the port if you look at down here line 24 app listen to port tw different port number a900 so we need to modify this just a little bit to make it work for our chat okay uh, as you can see the chat uses an HTTP uh, and then it creates a server that way and then down the bottom it connects to port 8080 using the server instead of the app right so it's no big deal okay so you can just um, really just copy this this line here or you don't have to copy it but you just change that to say server instead I'll show you in a minute uh, so first let's go to the top and see what we need so these are the three lines that you will need okay so just copy that over and add it to the top right below the app right here okay so we're gonna create the server through the server file uh, object instead of the app object so down here where we did the app listen to this will be the server listen to okay all we're doing is create a server that listens to a port number in this case we'll keep it a900 and uh, that's pretty much it for that one and it will still work okay it should still work fine uh, let me turn this off first because we don't have that IO yet so if I if I save this on the uh, unit six, if I save it, if I go back to the browser, okay, as you can see, it's, it still works just fine, all right. Even though I'm using the server that listen to instead of the app that listen to the port number, okay, so all I'm doing is create a server to listen to the port. That's it, and I'm still able to use the app around and the code to do all my um, uh, um, patterns. Okay, so that is it for this one. And then now we need to install the socket.io. Okay, if you remember in unit 5, you have to install that using the npm install, right? Because unit 6 doesn't have it. So that means in the terminal, you have to install it. If you don't, it's going to have an error. So for example, if I save it, undo that and save that. If I go to the server, I mean to the site, and run it, uh, I'm going to have an error. As you can see, it's trying to get the port, the socket.io, it won't find it. And if you look in the source code down here in the terminal it would it will tell you that 
cannot find the module socket.io. Okay, so that means we need to install it. So uh, let, let's create a new uh, terminal here and go to unit six. Okay, so just basically install it. So npm install and um, call.socket.io. So we need to install that to the app. And once that installed, it should work. Okay, so we're done here. We can close this terminal and you can see everything's going back to normal again, right? So go back to the browser and you see everything's app back to normal again. Okay, so we're now ready to go and uh, at the chat, as you can see, it doesn't work yet because we, have, we don't have the view yet. All right, so let's go and add our views. So this is done. So now let's go back to the unit uh, five and copy. We have this already set up. We don't have to worry about that. The chat program. So from line 10 all the way to line 30. Okay, copy all of that. And uh, you can close that and put it somewhere in here. Like um, I'll put like maybe right in the bottom down here somewhere. Um, down here, okay? That's my chat program. Now how to get there is through this link here, the chat. So then I got that done. Now I need to create a, um, a view for this chat. So as you look at the views over here, I can copy one of these, oops, one of these views and just uh, use it. So I just copy the, uh, the about page, just copy and paste right in here and rename it to say chat.hbs and we're going to replace all of these, okay? So these will be replaced with something else um, in a minute. So let's save that. And now let's go back to unit five in the chat program. Our files are in the public folder. So we have the, we need the, uh, if you look at the index file, this is the actually chat program, right? So we don't need all these here again because we have already have a, a base URL but we do need the CSS, the uh, jQuery, and the socket.o files in our own script. So um, you can copy this, CSS everything, copy that, and leave that open, and port it over to the layouts folder, and the index HBS. this is the main one, right? So this is the one that we have for unit six. I'm just gonna paste it right below it, right here, these are my chat programs. Okay, and I'll show you in a minute how that works in the here. So everything remains the same. So you can save this for now. Uh, it does come throw an error, I, I, I believe we will fix and show you. And then go back and what do we need? Well, down here is the same. This is the body of your, your chat. So you copy this whole thing in the body and move it to the chat HBS over here. Okay, you can uh, put a writing inside a main tag like that. So everything stays in, in, in there. And save this file. And we need to do one thing here, over here. So notice the scripts, it uses a script folder, and it doesn't use a CSS folder for the CSS file because our file is structured that way. So how we do it, you wanna make sure it matches the layout down here. Okay, so I need to copy my scripts. I call it default, so you can copy that and paste it into the public folder down here, unit six and there's a JS folder, uh, if the same, whatever this call, just paste it right in here, so I have my JS all over. My CSS, I just called it, um, we just call it default.css, right, in the root of this public directory. Copy that, and since we use a CSS folder, we put it right into a CSS folder, it just makes sense that way, put it right in there. I think that's all we need over here, right? Uh, we got our script and so on, yeah, that's all we need for that chat service. So now we need to go to the index HBS and change this to the point this to the correct file. So that's inside the um, you know CSS folder, and then the scripts is inside the uh, JS folder instead of scripts. And that's it. That's all we need to do here for this part. Now, so let's save this main layout file. And um, let's close this CSS and uh, JS file over here. This one we don't need anymore. We'll close that. The chat contains our chat uh, information already. And then let's save this and go to the browser and uh, run it again. Okay, so if I refresh my page, 
Notice it asks you again for the name and uh, do some chatting, even though I'm not even in the, in the chat page, right? You don't want to load that. And the reason why is because if you look at the source view, let me press F12 to show you, because our, our, our scripts is right on the front page and every page. So if you see this, this is the socket.io, right? And the default here, these two are these two files are causing every page to load and ask for a chat, even though we're not in the chat program. If I go to about, as you can see, it keeps prompting that. We don't want that. We only want that to show when we go to the chat page. Okay. And then if I put that here, as you can see, the chat is already working. I move that over already. Right. And I can do my chat just like before. And you can see it's working. So to move, move to make this go away, you have to put those scripts inside the chat um, view only. So do that is very simple. You just basically go back in here, the index, copy these two lines, or actually cut these two lines out, move them, and add them to your chat file. You can put on the top and the bottom, doesn't matter. Um, I like to put on the bottom here, so it's away from my code. Okay, so just save that, and I think that's all there is to it. So now if I go back and uh, you know, reload my page again, so you can see that it doesn't ask that anymore, right? If I go to chat, then it shows up. So I put here Christian. Okay, you can see that's working. Okay, if I copy this and load to another browser, so here's my second chat. Um, okay, so here's, here's, if I minimize this, you can see how they, where they are working, right? It should still work just like before, even though my formatting is kind of ugly here, but, um, okay, so here is the chat. So I can say, hello, and it's working just like normal. Okay, so that is how you would want to do with this one, and the rest will be very similar. Okay, so go back to, uh, you know, the other assignments and then just move things over and create the views for your uh, new uh, layout. Go to the views folder and create that layout. And if it need any CSS or other main CSS files, go to the index layout. This is the main index page and add them here. All right. And, um, and that should work. And if, if it looks really different from your main route here, you can always create another template as another root template. So I can say, hmm, this one doesn't match what I want. Mine is very different. So, I mean, for the chat, you could have did, you could have done differently. I could have done uh, something like this. I'll show you. So if I, if I copy my uh, index here, copy that and paste it. And let's, let's just say that I'm going to use this route, this pattern or this uh, route for my chat. I can say something like chat uh, main. Okay, HBS. And then um, in my index file up here, I can copy, well, what, what I had earlier, right? I'm not going to copy that again. I'm going to go to, uh, where'd it go? So where's the chat? Okay, so I can move this back to the main chat here, put up here again, like before. So it is only it only applies to the chat. And um, so if I save this, in my main index, maybe, I, yeah, I don't need this stuff, so I can remove all of these out, right, back to my default only. And then this is the main uh, layout for the chat. So if I save this here, and when you do that, though, in your index.js file, you can go and then use a different uh, file. So like in the chat program, line 49, um, I can add another parameter here after the title to say layout. I'm going to use the layout called chat main. Okay. So what that does is it's going to use the main, the chat main here as the layout, as the root layout instead of the index. Because okay. by default, we set it to use the index, right? The default layout. But I mentioned in the video the way back that you can override this by specifying the layout here explicitly to use a different layout. Okay, so we'll see that if I save this, if I go back, see if this works. Okay, let me just uh, refresh my page. As you can see, it works just fine. If I look at the uh, source view, I do a source view, 
you'll see that I'm not using the links for the chat at all. Okay. If I now go to my chat and it loads the chat. So here we go again. And there it is. If I do my uh, source view, you see that I'm using the other template, right? For this chat only. If I navigate away, and then if I do a source view, refresh that, um, not this one, but it goes back to the other source view, the other main page. All right, so it gives you that flexibility. Uh, you can choose any main layout you want by creating one inside the layouts um, folder and then, you know, link it through the layout attribute here. All right, so I hope that uh, gives you an idea of how to move things around. I know it's a little bit long, but um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, thanks.